all yours, neighbor. Hmm. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Uh, your age? Can I, can I pass that? You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit younger. <laughs> How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? I'm sorry. Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual. Oh, ah, serum reverses aging? Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It really isn't any Fuck. of your business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. Hmm. Actually, your mother sent me. It wasn't Jack. It was your mother who wanted you found. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. What the fuck? Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. That sure doesn't look like it came in with us. I'm sorry, Nick. I wanted I wanted that ammo. You know, he took 500 caps from me. I might I might have to kill him. I wonder if he has anything else to say. I wonder what this is. What kind of cult is this? Hey there. We don't have anything to talk about. You know what? You know what? I'm getting sick of your shit. I should probably kill you. Is anybody else here named or are they all n initiates? Missionary. I Our... hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Nah, probably not. Alright, well let's go back to Cabot House. I'm not even sure what this place is. I'm not sure if they'll give me any info. It seems uh none of them are really talking to me, so. Might as well just head back. Oh, damn it, I really hope I didn't give him 500 caps. It didn't tell me like I got 500 caps removed, but I think he did take 500 caps. Fuck, I should have just fucking... I should have just pick locked the door. Oh well. So whatever, I have the money. I have a lot of money. And I'm bound to get more. I could probably get a lot just selling my grenades. Lord knows I have a shit ton of those. I need to find more drugs though. Sell more drugs. But I don't think I've ever talked to those people either. I don't know if there's like a mission with them besides this one. Hey, let me ask you something. Uh, what? Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds CPG. at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Yeah, what is the CPG massacre? M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. Damn. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Hmm. 
broken mask? I think I know about this. This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. Damn. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that since had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why'd they let you hmm. in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Ah, that makes sense. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Oh. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. Of course. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four tufts. I took her home, and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Hmm. Not a spy, right? Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. Hmm. About then, that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Yeah, let's do that. Good guy Nick over here. That was, uh, that was a little bit interesting. Yeah, I'm really surprised after that that they, they kind of let him in and let him stay. But I guess he did rescue the mayor's daughter, so. You hear me now? Edward. Damn. The signal is strangely weak. Hi. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Not now. Gee, now. How's this? <laughs> oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Uh oh. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders. This Uh oh. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. I don't need anything right now, thank you. <laughs> What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Hmm. What happened? What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly, 
I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What the fuck? What is in this serum? What exactly does this serum do? There's no time for that right now. I'll explain oh on the God. way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? I did. Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need not bad. you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have created an extraordinarily dangerous situation. I'm the only one who understands how to deal with these dangers. Is that clear enough for you? Sure. Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Hmm. All right, well, that is going to be it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for joining me. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to help good old uh, Cabot here to uh, help whatever is going on at the Parsons Insane Asylum. I don't know what's going on. I don't think I've ever done this mission before. So kind of curious what's going to happen, but that's going to be it for me today. So when we, uh, uh, I'm repeating myself. Dude, I tend to do that. I need to stop doing that. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Touch the sky.